Good morning, everyone. Well, happy Monday. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a good week and positive for all of us. Our first readings uh, this week initially start off with uh, St. Paul's uh, first letter to Timothy. Uh, Timothy was a young man when Paul um, converted him and um, brought him to Christ, and so therefore has a very strong affinity uh, for him. And so a lot of his teaching is in terms of guidance and so forth, but he, he's talking to us today about uh, leadership in particular. Uh, in chapters 2 and 3. Uh, I might just mention chapter 3 um, uh, specifically talks about people who would aspire to be um, bishops and also addresses uh, deacons. <laughs> so if you want to read something about what the expectations of deacons were in the early church, have a look at uh, at 1 Timothy chapter 3. So uh, chapter 2, uh, uh, the reading for Trump today, says that we should pray. Uh, and not just uh, generally, but Pray for everyone, uh, but especially for kings and those in authority. And uh, the, the, the Bible uh, tells us so that we can live a tranquil, tranquil and peaceful existence. Now, we might as well say, okay, right, how does it apply to us today? You know, can we pray for our leaders in the world? I think we certainly can. N not just that um, they make right decisions, but in fact that they are enriched themselves spiritually so that they have the grounds to make right decisions. So uh, the, the overall teaching of Paul is that in order for everyone to be saved, we need to make sure that the leadership of everyone is actually in line with God's teaching. The difficulty we have, of course, is that we have both worldly leaders and we have spiritual leaders. And sometimes they're on a, a different path and sometimes they have a different message for us. Uh, that's a bit confusing for, for some people. Um, but the prayer is that we should all be unified, purposeful live in tranquility, and look after each other. But pray. Remember, prayer is where we unite ourselves with God. We communicate with Him. We become one with Him. And the ultimate prayer is one that has no words. We simply unite ourselves with God and that we share in His time and in His presence. So let's work towards that today. Oh, it's just a small challenge. It should keep us busy for a few weeks or years. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.